patient. And uh, the topic of which you will know soon enough, okay? So before we start, uh, I want to take one minute for you guys to, to sum, to calculate, to jumlahin gitu ya. How much do you guys wear at this moment? Okay. So for me, for example, I'm wearing a hundred dollar glasses. Okay. And my, my shirt is twenty dollars. Uh, the jacket is fifty dollars. You know, and the pants is forty dollars, and the shoes is thirty dollars. You know, I didn't calculate it. Okay. That's, that's number one. Okay. paling now the, the second question is the second question is calculate the number of spending per month okay so that that includes your rent your food and all the necessities insurance you know car payments or whatever yeah. yes and, and last so the price at which you bought your current car. Don't have a mobile. Okay, so. So this is my guesstimate of our average. Okay, guesstimate of our average. So a thousand dollar is probably what we wear on average. Okay, so that includes me, who's wearing a total of three hundred dollars, and maybe some of you guys who's wearing much more. is numbers and perspective. Okay. So we want to focus actually on this number first. You know, your spending per month. Okay. Now I want to remind you guys again, this is average. So many of you are spending more, much more per month, and many of you are spending less. And this does not include your discretionary spending. That is spending for new bags, quickly, video games, um, and all other forms of entertainment. Okay. Now, jadi aku mau bagi ini ke spending per day. Okay, so twenty five hundred dollars dibagi uh, ini jadi eighty four dollars. Eighty four dollars that we spend every day. Okay. Now when we talk about perspective, let's see how we stack up with the rest of the world. Okay, are you ready? So fifty percent of the world spends two and a half dollars a day, and that is three point five billion people live less on less than two and a half dollars a day. Twenty percent of the world live less than, on less than $1.25, okay? So if you are $84 a day, where do you think we stack up? Give me numbers. 1%. Okay, that, that's pretty close actually. Actually, we are 0.2%, okay? 0.2%, if all of us are within 0.2% of the richest people on this planet, okay? So when we talk about expenses per day, it's, it's natural. Kita ngomong about poverty, and specifically aku ngomong poverty about children. Okay, one out of two children in the world lives in poverty. One out of two. So that means the person in front of you, to the back of you, to the right, and to your left. If we are all children, empat orang ini lives in poverty. One out of two. Okay. One out of three has no shelter. Mereka nggak punya rumah. Mereka nggak punya anything over their kepala gitu. One out of five not have access to water. That means if they want to drink water, they will have to walk. We'll have to walk. We'll have to water. And we have a tap, right? And we take it for granted. Now, think of this when next time we're uh, thinking about the next restaurant that we want to go or the next restaurant that we want to go. That, hari ini aja, 22,000 anak kecil itu meninggal because of poverty. Okay? So next time we want to spend something, we better remember these numbers here. Now, literacy. Every time we complain about our school and our work, notice one billion people today cannot read the sentence. Cannot read, cannot write their name. You know, they can't read. Okay, one billion people. Right? Now, jadi kita mungkin nanya gitu, priorities gitu. What the world is doing gitu. Kenapa, kenapa kita seperti, seperti nggak do anything about this? So, yang ini, 
adalah the additional cost in US billion dollars supaya semua manusia di dunia itu get education 6 billion additional cost 6 billion so every single person dapat education 6 billion water and sanitation there is especially important for cewek right 9 billion dollars additional and both health and nutrition for every single person itu 13 13 billion dollars okay let's see how much we spend di Amerika aja okay cosmetics alone in US 8 billion dollars compared to the 6 billion dollars we can we can purchase education for everybody but instead we buy cosmetics and water and sanitation perfumes 12 billion dollars the US and the euro while we spend perfumes kita bisa kasih water and sanitation for all health and nutrition 13 dollars now is gonna be surprising okay are ready pet foods okay 17 billion dollars that we spend every year in the US and the euro for pet foods while we can give food for every single person who for him. Okay? Now, now this chart is kind of hard to explain, but I'll explain it. So, there, so if imagine that there's a hundred people in this room, and we stack, kita urutin gitu ya. Jadi yang paling kaya ada yang di sebelah kanan, yang paling miskin ada di sebelah kiri. Okay, a hundred people. And, and I have a hundred dollars in satu dolar lagi. Okay, seratus dolar aku punya, dan ada seratus orang di sini. Sana paling kaya, di sini paling miskin. Gitu. So Albert will be the poorest, probably. Maybe <laughs> will be the, the richest, gitu. So this graph is basically telling us 20 orang yang paling kaya yang di sebelah sana get 80 dollars of the resources yang kita punya, 80 dollars. Dan 20 orang yang paling di sini, 20 orang total mereka get one and a half dollars. Okay. So not only gak adil sekali pembagian kekayaannya, consumptionnya kita tuh juga gila-gila. Nah, jadi my question gitu kayak how do we react gitu to this gitu. ya kan number one gitu this number now looks very different gitu kita juga bagi ke dua ribu lima ratus dollars it's not much gitu but now it doesn't look any a little bit different gitu ya kan and the title of this presentation itu perspective gitu jadi aku mau kasih lihat ini perspective gitu how much this actually cost in the real world okay and why perspective is important karena kita otak kita tuh nggak bisa ngerti big numbers Kalau aku bilang 10 miles per hour dan 60 miles per hour, we know the difference. Gitu. Tapi when we ngomongin 700 dan 800 miles per hour, kita nggak bisa tahu the difference. We can't feel it, gitu. That's why kalau misalnya ada teman kalian bilang, oh teman gue punya teman, 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 satu orang meninggal di Jakarta kecelakaan. Oh, that's tragedy. That's tragedy. Tapi we don't, we could care less, gitu. That, 11,8 juta orang tuh, sekarang tuh, affected by the typhoon in the Philippines. Karena it's just a number, it's just statistics, gitu, for us. Karena kita nggak punya dari perspektif, sebenarnya dua puluh satu ribu orang nggak punya rumah, nggak punya sanitation, nggak punya food, nothing itu. Dan tiga ribu enam ratus tiga puluh tiga orang, which means tiga ribu enam ratus tiga puluh tiga father, mother, friends, husband, wives, brother, sister itu expired in matter of hours itu, gone. We we could care less kan? Okay, so what's what's apa yang aku mau sampaikan? Jadi gimana gitu kita mesti uh, react gitu to this ya aku mau satu ayat nih ini di mark it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than someone who's rich so that's the kingdom of God no something that kita nggak blame being rich gitu. it is a blessing jadi there's nothing wrong with being rich tapi with being rich ada ada difficulties yang actually bikin orang banyak orang fail dan aku mau kalian sadar ini dan mereka bilang look Dia bilang, kalau kamu punya banyak, and that is talent, time, resources, knowledge, gitu. much juga bakal di demand dari kalian. Gitu. Okay. And you guys know it, do you have much or little? Yang terakhir, 2018, ini, ini adalah parable of the seed, di mana sower itu kasih seed, and then ada berbagai macam soil, yang some soil itu really good, seednya itu bisa tumbuh, yang lain nggak bisa. Mesti bilang, they go on their way and they're choked by life's worries, riches, and pleasures, and they do not enter. Jadi faith-nya nggak tumbuh because we're so occupied with consuming our blessings. So what? What? what uh, yang ini ada another verse. Jadi orang nanya gitu to the king gitu. Kapan kita actually do this task buat engkau ya king gitu? 
kita nggak ngerasa kita pernah inget kok kasih makanan, kasih baju, kasih tempat tinggal kita nggak pernah visit kamu kalau lagi sakit pas di penjara nggak inget aku pernah visit engkau gitu. and what the king say dia bilang whatever you did to the list of this you did for me So this is what we're gonna do. Gitu. Ini hal yang praktikal banget yang kalian bisa kerjain ya. Jadi banyak sekali resources online yang gimana kalian bisa do something gitu to the world around us. Samaritan's first is one of them. And even di yang lokal kita punya city impact um, uh, yang di San Jose ada di San Jose dan San Francisco, right? Ya yeah, San Jose dan San Francisco gereja kita setiap setiap bulan sekali kita serve di invasion gitu untuk serve the homeless. Okay, dan satu hal yang satu Program yang kita mau kerjain mulai dari minggu depan adalah kita mau ngumpulin jaket dan baju-baju dingin Kalian notice right? Recently ini jadi really really cold gitu Dan banyak homeless di luar sana tuh, they have nothing okay? So we, kita mau ngumpulin uh, cold clothing dan kalian bisa ngumpulin ke aku, Aldo, Ocet, atau Otis okay? Starting next week, ya well kalian bisa kasih ke kita as, you know, kalian ketemu kita juga Tapi kita bakal ngumpulin di gereja uh, Abyss Church gitu dan aku mau close yes tepat waktu sekali aku mau close um, dengan saying aku nggak mau dengan dengan presentasi presentasi ini kalian tuh feel guilty okay. there's nothing wrong being born rich or being born poor kayak mereka juga gitu. semua sama ada artinya kamu kaya kamu miskin semua itu cipta Tuhan gitu it doesn't make us any different gitu oke okay. so don't give out of guilty jangan kalian masa bersalah dan kalian kasih gitu, okay? Tapi give with a cheerful heart. Jadi the reason kalian give, the only reason kalian give itu should be grateful, ya. Yeah. Kita grateful gitu. Tuhan kasih kita blessings, so much blessings. Gitu. You want to consume by yourself gitu. Even kalian consume everything, kalian nggak bakal enough gitu. Loh. Sebagai person to consume all that you have. Sementara orang-orang lain tuh struggle. Dan awal kita pertama kali ngomongin tentang ini kita pikir oke okay, kita actually nggak expect to get a lot of clothes gitu, a lot. kita nggak expect to get a lot gitu. Tapi one thing yang kita pengen tuh at least at the very least kalian tuh punya new perspective of what you have gitu, of the scope of blessings yang kalian udah punya, yang 80% or more people in the world tuh nggak punya. So that would be my goal gitu, this itu supaya kalian see this a little bit differently. And another, kenapa kita dugut? I will close with this. Itu kenapa kita dugut ya? Karena it's a manifestation, gitu. It's a completion of our faith. Dari mana kita tahu kalau faith itu benar atau enggak dari buahnya kan? Karena what is faith without action ya? So, um, ya aku mau ini minta Fatim untuk close. Uh, nanti kita bakal. Tuhan Yesus di akhir persekutuan ini kami datang dengan ucapan syukur untuk segala yang sudah berlangsung di tempat ini kami juga bersyukur melalui presentasi ini kami diingatkan bahwa segala sesuatunya adalah dari Tuhan dan untuk Tuhan untuk itu ya Tuhan biarlah kami bisa melakukan sesuatu untuk sesama kami di musim dingin ini biarlah apa yang sudah kami dapatkan daripada Tuhan kami juga Tuhan berikan kesempatan gerakan hati untuk juga bisa memberi kepada sesama kami yang membutuhkan walaupun itu mungkin hanya satu helai uh, scrub ataupun juga satu pasang kaos kaki tapi itu sungguh berarti bagi mereka yang membutuhkan untuk itu sekali lagi Tuhan berbicara kepada setiap kami dan berkati semua teman-teman yang sudah hadir pada malam ini dan juga berkati pada waktu kami akan kembali ke tempat kami masing-masing di malam yang dingin ini. Hanya di dalam Kristus kami berdoa. Amin.